Yo, what's rockin', man? It's your boy, Stony Rockstar, back at you with another official story, prison story. Yo, this one is kind of sad, right? And I say that because it was a child involved. And what I mean is, dude had a wife, right? And this happened in Elmira. His wife was coming to see him, and they started getting trailers, so one day, this dude happened to go and get a medical. And in his medical, they asked him, they said, would you like an AIDS test? Right? Now, the AIDS test comes back positive. Now this dude, he ain't mess with no chunks, he ain't mess with no needles, he ain't do none of that. No blood transfusions or none of that, right? So, there's only one possible way that he contracted this virus, and that's through his wife. So, one day, when he got his trailer visit, he goes down, he waits for his wife to come in there, and his kid. And whatever conversation they had led to him on the trailer visit. You know, we all like trailer visits in prison. Like, a trailer visit is like going to a motel for 48 hours. Is when I first got my first trailer visit, I was like, yo, I could do this 20 to life. As long as I can get some trailers. You know what I'm saying? It was like, it was like a... Like a breath of fresh air. Like I used to be in Attica just looking out of the window, looking at the trailers and looking at the gate that you go through to get to the trailers. And I'm like, yo, one day I'm going to go through that golden gate. But you got to be easy and keep dudes off your back and chill. And you know what I'm saying? Keep dudes at bay. You know what I'm saying? It's a thinking game because dudes be jealous and they know you got a wife and they don't want to see you go in the trailer. And they'll try to act a little bit more. Than they would if they know that you don't have a trailer. When they know you got a trailer visit coming, dudes be trying to act up. You know what I'm saying? Act a little, little tough and all of that. So anyway, this dude ends up killing his wife on a trailer visit. Then he hangs himself. So when the people come in there. Because they give you a count. They'll call you on the phone and tell you to step out and wave to the tower or whatever like that. That's when they're doing the count. You know, like in the morning, in the afternoon, and at night. You know, you just, they call you on the phone. They got a little phone in there. They call you from the tower and they say, you know, step out for a minute. You got to say your name and your den. And then you step out and you just wave to the tower. And, um... So he didn't answer the phone. So they went and checked on him. And he was hanging. And the kid was like about three years old. The mom's is dead on the floor. And the father is hanging. You know. It's just a sad situation. You know. So the moral of the story is man. Like if you're going to see your man or whatever like that. Troop for your man. You know. Rock out for your men, but you got to protect yourself in him. You got to be careful out there if you want to be messing around. You know, everybody mess around. Everybody got that itch or whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. But once again, man, yo, it's your boy Stony Rock Store. Like and subscribe, bro. You know what I mean? And I'm going to be back at you with some more official tissue stories, man. One. Mm.